Yo, what's up everyone? Today we'll be doing some catch and cook at Round Valley Reservoir. We're gonna be targeting some lake trout and some rainbow trout. I'm fishing with my buddy Zach, but we actually have a special guest today. So let's do it. Got some hand warmers here because Zach needed for his little smelly jelly. That thing is like frozen. <laughs> Look at this, guys. It's it's congealed. Okay, guys, it's finally melting. I don't know if it's from my hand or from the hand warmer, but uh, earlier it was like up to here when I uh, first grabbed it from the uh, the boat. But uh, it's it's working. Yeah, well, it's working. <laughs> All right, we'll see how it well. No. The other one I've been fishing around here is Merrill Creek. Merrill Creek. That, that one. That one's. Uh, we're over like 250, 260 feet of water. For, oh, for the deepest spot, which you don't oh, fish no, anyway. It's. it's uh, oh snaps! It's like that for the majority. <laughs> Better than what it was. <laughs> it's like a paste. Yeah. Mm. Ah, uh, no thank you. <laughs> so yeah guys, I'm just setting up right now, putting out some line, got some spoons, some plugs. My hands are basically frozen right now. Just started too. Like, and my right toe is like uh, pretty, pretty bad. I, earlier I was in the water in my waders and I think there's a leak on my right side. Like, I just feel it like really, really frozen, cold. And uh, it's kind of hurting a little bit. Got some stuff stacked up in the bottom, look at that. All right, that's good stack right there. Dude, that water is so clear. Holy crap! Oh, I got the long one. Dude. No, I don't want the long one. No. <laughs> what do we have there? We got a rainbow. Rainbow. Which I guess we're keeping. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's bleeding, so I guess we'll keep him. But he's a good size. Yeah. Good eater right there. Is that one down right there? Uh, it could be. Hold up. Let me just try something. It, like it could be a lazy board. Careful. Uh, so I think there's a fish. There you go, y'all. First fish. There you go, y'all. First fish. Oh, you want to sell it? Yeah. Yo, you want to keep this one in? Your first big shot? Uh, I got it. I'll be a rainbow. You probably think a rainbow? Yeah. Alright. Well. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there's a small guy on there. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yep. Um Yeah, just met him.
Oh no, I got light. Oh wait, no, it's swimming towards me. Yeah. Where is it? <laughs> I see it. Nice green dog. Uh oh, shaking, shaking. Okay. Oh man. That one should go back then. Oh, I'll give you some line. Okay, the biggest one of the day, dude. Yeah, look at that. Okay, the shattering is now too. Really? Holy smokes. It's beating. That's, that, that's a photo worthy one. Okay, um, you know, I get that yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get the whole thing out, I guess. Oh, no. This is a mess, guys. So, um, I got a fish on here. And he got a fish over there. Nice. So you got a rainbow? Yeah, I got a rainbow here. Nice. And I need to get, get it off. It's like tangled. And you might want to grab the other net for now. Right behind you and help him. Yeah, I'm tangled. Guys, look at this thing. He got a big shiner in... Throat. That's crazy. Oh, smokes. Look at that. Holy smokes. That's a big laker. But yo, check this guy out right here. Dude, what the heck? Look at that. What is that in its mouth? A big shiner, a bait yeah, fish. Yo, take a freaking picture though. That's sick. That is sick. Holy so I guess smokes. That's what they're feeding on. Yeah, it's digested. Yeah, yeah, that's disgusting. There you go. Dude, nice freaking fish, man. Something in his stomach looks like. Oh yeah. Blue oh, he's, he's, it blue might be gill. a bluegill. Yeah, probably bluegill. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Okay guys, I am back at home. I decided to cut the fishing stuff a little short because you guys have seen me troll at Round Valley plenty of times already and if I just keep doing this, you guys just can keep hearing like the clickly clack, clickly clack from the reels. Guys, because I always forget to take out the clicker and everything like that, but um, Actually, the main reason is because, as you guys already seen, my special guest is First State Fishing, Mike. And um, he went fishing with me at Round Valley with Zach. We caught a lot of fish. And um, yeah, it's going to be like seeing the same thing over and over again from his channel and my channel. I'm sure you guys already know him. But uh, if you guys have not met him or watched any of his videos, make sure you guys check the description below. Or you guys can check the card in the top right hand corner because uh, I'm sure he has already edited his video. And I'll link it right there. But a big thank you to Mike because guys I have been sick lately and it doesn't make it easy for me to drive out there and do fishing and stuff like that and um, you know Mike actually lives in Dover I live in like Jersey outside of Philadelphia so he actually drove one and a half hours to pick me up and then he drove another one hour and 45 minutes to hit up to Round Valley and that's only the driving time for in the morning because when we were coming back it was like the school traffic and after work traffic and it was just so much traffic. I, I don't know how long it took for him to get back home, but uh, when he got home, he was already cleaning his fish. I just left everything in the cooler. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go clean them now. And then I'm actually gonna do a catch and cook for you guys. So why don't we get over there and let's take a look what's in the cooler and let's get some cooking going on. Okay guys, so here are my trout. And uh, so at the end of the day, we actually only kept six fish. We caught about a dozen and a half of fish. And then we only kept like two lake trout and four rainbow trout. And um, so yeah, the left one right here is a lake trout. It's a small fish that I have here. And I got two nice sized rainbows. And uh, first aid fishing actually kept the same things, but I think he had one smaller rainbow trout, but he has the largest lake trout. Anyway guys, I'm gonna clean this, but I'm not gonna portray cleaning it because I've done it recently. You guys can check the top right hand corner where I was using this awesome casting flay knife to uh, clean some fish. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna clean these fish and then I'm gonna go figure out what I'm gonna actually do to cook these fish. Guys, check out this rainbow trout from Round Valley Reservoir. I mean, look at that flesh, it's so orange. It's because they eat those freshwater shrimp. I mean, it's so orange. It's not orange like my casting flay knife, but holy smokes. You know what? I'm gonna do Doritos, Cheetos, or either one of those for my crusting and I'm gonna fry these guy up and uh, yeah we're gonna see how that tastes cuz orange on orange who knows okay guys you can see that a ton of stuff right here so I got my trout rainbow trout from Round Valley as you can see they're freaking orange like a steelhead salmon so uh, yeah that's because they eat all that freshwater shrimp from Round Valley Reservoir and let's take a step back for a second so I said I was gonna do some sort of chip crust uh, for my fish here that I'm frying up today, pan frying. And contestant number one here was Cheetos. 
my buddy First State Fishing told me to try this out because he did it on one of his videos and uh, I bought it but I thought about it I was like well he already done it already so maybe I should do it so that's out of here and that leaves us with these three right here and um, yeah the wife saw me doing this earlier and you know I, I had to ask her because of course she's gonna be eating this with me and she opted for the Cool Ranch because that's her favorite flavors from uh, Doritos. So these two are out. So this is what I'll do. Okay. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna put a little hole in it. I'm gonna crush it up. And I'm gonna take just a couple fillets. What I'll do is I'm gonna powder it with flour first. Then dip into that after, I, of course, beat it up. And then dip into this and then let's fry it. So uh, yeah, let's let's try it out and let me tell you guys how it tastes after I get it done. All right guys, so I'm just gonna beat these eggs and of course we Asian people, we gotta use chopsticks to do this. I know uh, American people use forks or some people who's, uh, whatchamacallit, a little bit more fancy with the culinary arts, they use their, I guess, egg beater or something like that. But I'm just gonna beat this up very quickly. And uh, some people like to beat it up very evenly, but uh, I actually don't because egg, you know, you have your yolk, you have your white. And uh, if you beat up all together, it's great. But I like to have a little mix like this because it gives it a little different texture flavor all over the fish. So we're gonna leave this to the side. Of course, I have my plate here for flouring. And uh, yeah, so let me just uh, pick up a couple of pieces. Let's do like one. But let, let me get, give you guys a closer look. Look at that. This is a, a trout and it looks like a stew head. Look how shiny this thing is. Holy smokes. And then how orange this thing is. It's Freaking amazing! So yeah, I think uh, I think that's uh, let's do let's do uh, one more fillet. Uh, there, let's do three fillets for Doritos. One for me, one for wife, and one for the video. You know what I'm saying? The rest I'm gonna save. Do my favorite way of cooking trout. Which if you guys haven't seen that video already, you guys check out the top right hand corner. Basically, I like to pan sear these. Just simple, some flour and. Um, you know, grape seed oil or peanut oil, either or, those are really, really good. All right, so I've got my chips here. I'm gonna smash it up. I'm just gonna open it. Oh, snap, I opened it from the bottom. Oops. Good thing I didn't fall over the place. I would have lost all my potato chips. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna muzzle the sound a little bit, but basically I'm just gonna hold this down just a little bit. Just let the air out. And I'm just gonna crush this up just like this. A Couple times later, you shake it up a little bit. 59 cents for each bag from Walmart. Let's take a look at it for a second. It looks okay and smells pretty good. I don't know if you can see that. But I think I'm gonna crush it up just a little bit more because I want it smaller. All right, that might be good. Three fish here. Open this bad boy up. And let's powder these guys up. All right, I think that might be enough. But uh, this pan and flour, you know, since of plain flour, I like to use this because I already have some seasoning, basically some salt and some white peppers that's already in there. So uh, yeah, let me just powder this bad boy up both sides. All right. Don't forget the edges. All right, so I got that. I guess I'll put that to the side and try to Egg batter this bad boy up. I guess I'll put this here for a second. Egg batter this guy up. That's a lot of egg batter. And uh, last guy up. All right. And then I guess I'll make some uh, omelet or something with that. And then I'll rinse my hand. And time for the Doritos. I guess I could have shook it up in, in the bag, but uh, I actually want to eat some of the Doritos too, because I like Cool Ranch too. But it uh, looks like I'm pouring everything in it on his plate, so I guess I didn't eat it. Yeah, I poured everything in here. All right, so some of the chips, I think I should have crushed it a little bit more, but uh, I think it, this will work. It'll be okay. So let's uh, rotate it a few times. Oh man, I can smell a Cool Ranch, so that's, that's basically the seasoning. All right, so this should be good to go. So let me jump over to the, uh, 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 the stove over there and let's get some cooking on. <sighs> okay, so 
Gotta have enough oil in here, and you gotta make sure it's hot enough. So let's uh, get enough just to fill the bottom right there. There we go. That's a lot of oil, actually. But uh, you know what? I'm frying this stuff up, so it should be okay. All right, I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and we'll be back when it's nice and hot. Let me just take a bit of chips here. I'm gonna drop it in and see if it's ready. It's bubbling, but I don't think it's like ready, ready, ready hot. Cause uh, what happened is, once you start putting this in there, it's cold meat, it's gonna drop the temperature dramatically. And that's really bad for fish uh, frying or any sort of frying. So I'm gonna wait a little longer. And guys, don't use plastic chopsticks for frying because you gotta melt them all. I'm just gonna use it just to dump it in. So, oh, there goes the egg batter. Okay, I'm gonna start off with a smaller piece just to make sure if it's working or not. Here it goes, they're ready. Always put the fish away from you so you don't splash yourself. Okay, there it goes. Good start, good start guys. Go there, sit here for a little bit. I'm give it like about, oh, I don't know. Two minutes maybe. I'm just gonna basically watch the bottom part. See how much uh, color changes. Once it hits like maybe two thirds, I'm gonna flip it. And then uh, about another minute and I'm gonna take it off the flames. So uh, I gotta turn on the vent, so just let me, uh, let me do that so the house doesn't smell too bad. All right guys, I got my Dorito crusted trout from Round Valley Reservoir. Oops, I slid the whole thing down my plate and I destroyed my presentation, but it's okay. I'm here to eat it anyway. So um, yeah, here's the first bite, but before I even bite onto it, it actually smells pretty cool. Like uh, I can smell the potato chips, very strong flavor because I guess once you fry the potato chips, the potato chips are, well not potato, they're actually corn chips, right? Because they're Doritos and uh, it has a, Strong Dorito aroma, and then you have the ranch flavor too. I can just smell the ranch actually very, very strong. So, um, it's gonna be interesting. So, first bite, first bite. So, you can see it's cooked all the way. Hopefully, you guys can see it from this far. And uh, smoke's still coming out, which is great. Again, it smells pretty good. The chips are super crunchy, and it tastes pretty cool. Now, I love cooking and this is just simply just doing this. Uh, I'm thinking about some sort of sauce and also some side dish, side, side um, stuff like maybe some sort of broccoli or something on the side, uh, but that is for future stuff because this catch and cook, I'm gonna focus on this and only this, but I gotta say this is actually pretty darn good. Like for a ranch, it's good, it's good. So hopefully my wife's gonna be happy with this. I'm actually gonna let her taste this. Yeah, man, I'm gonna devour this one right here. And then I'm gonna go share with her the other pieces. But man, guys, this is amazing. Ho hopefully you guys actually enjoyed um, this catch and cook. This is the weirdest cook I ever done in my life because I'm more of a more traditional type uh, cooking. Like I'll, I'll be doing cooking from like my good friend Roger, cooking and fishing. You guys can check out his channel. Um, I followed some of his recipe before like the lemon caper sauce um, porgy because he caught a lot of porgies and he sent me over, uh, sent me some and. He told me to try that out, and if you haven't watched that video, you guys can check out that, that video where I cooked up that pork in it. It was actually very, very delicious. Uh, but yeah, trying these funky stuff, it's fun, very fun. So uh, if you guys want to see me do more of these, you know, there's, I still got plenty of other chips there, or if there's any other chips or any other style of catch and cooks, leave me a comment below. Guys, I thank you for watching. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. But uh, I'm gonna stop talking here because this is too good. Mmm. Mm-hmm, 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 m